All right, Brewers top 30 prospects. We got Jackson Churio leading off at number one. He played in double A and triple A. His triple A stats were a 333 average with a 375 OBP with an A51 OPS. In double A, he had a 280 average, a 336 OBP, and an 803 OPS. He played 122 games with 22 home runs, 89 RBIs, and 43 stolen bases. Coming in at number two, we got Jacob Mizorowski, who went 4-2 and two with a 345 ERA across single A, high A, and double A. 73 innings with 113 strikeouts with a 1.26 whip. All right, we got up and rising Jefferson Carroll at number three with a 262 batting average, 339 OBP, and 779 OPS across 90 games with 16 home runs, 49 RBIs, and 5 stolen bases. Coming in at number four, we got Tyler Black, who played with Double A Biloxi and Triple A Nashville. In Double A, he batted 273, 411, and 924 across 84 games with 14 home runs, 48 RBIs, and 47 stolen bases. In Triple A, he batted 310 with a 428 OBP and a 942 OPS with four home runs, 25 RBIs, and eight stolen bases. Coming in at number five, newly acquired Joey Ortiz. From the Corbin Burns trade last year in Norfolk AAA for the Orioles, he batted 321 with a 378 OBP, with an 885 OPS. In 88 games, he had nine home runs, 58 RBIs, and 11 stolen bases. At the number six spot, we got Robert Gasser of the Nashville Sounds. He went nine and one with a 379 ERA. He started 25 games, but he played in 26, 135 in the third innings with 166 strikeouts, the most in the International League. At the number 7 spot, we got 2023 first-round draft pick Brock Wilkin, who batted in rookie ball with a 333 average, 467 OBP, and 1035 OPS. Across seven games, he had one home run, six RBIs, and one stolen base in High A Wisconsin, he batted 289 with a 427 OBP and 865 OPS across 34 games, two home runs, 15 RBIs, and three stolen bases. Then he got booted up to Double A Biloxi, where he batted 217, 280, and 845 across six games with two home runs, eight RBIs, and no stolen bases. Coming in at number eight, we got Carlos F. Rodriguez with Double A Biloxi and Triple A Nashville. In Biloxi, we went 9-6 and six with a 277 ERA across 25 starts, 123 and two-thirds innings pitched with 152 strikeouts. In AAA, he had a 579 ERA in one start, four and two-thirds innings with six strikeouts. At the number nine spot, we got Luis Lara of Single A, Carolina, and High A, Wisconsin. In Single A, Carolina, he had a 285 average with a 379 OBP and a 733 OPS across 70 games. He had two home runs with 21 RBIs with 22 stolen bases. At High A, Wisconsin, he batted 290, 351, and 728 across 17 games. He had no home runs, but he had eight RBIs and eight stolen bases. At the number 10 spot, we got Cooper Pratt, who got drafted in 2023 in the sixth round. He played 12 games in rookie ball with the Brewers. He batted 356, had a 420 OBP and an 870 OPS with no home runs, 8 RBIs, and 4 stolen bases. Number 11 on the Brewers' top 30 list goes to Yoferi Rodriguez of the Brewers' Dominican Summer League team. He played 52 games. He had 6 home runs, 36 RBIs with a 253 batting average, 393 OBP, and an 842 OPS. Coming in at number 12, we got Eric Brown Jr., who played at Rookie Ball. High A Wisconsin and Double A Biloxi. At Rookie Bowl, he batted 182 with a 400 OBP and 1127 OPS. Across four games, he hit two home runs with two RBIs and one stolen base. At High A Wisconsin, he batted 265, 362, and 709 across 63 games with four home runs and 25 RBIs with 37 stolen bases. When he got promoted to Double A, he did not get a single hit, but he did have a 125 OBP with a 125 OPS. Across five games, he had no home runs, no RBIs, and one stolen base. At lucky number 13, we got Josh Noth of Rookie Ball, who got drafted in the first round in the 2023 draft, and he has a fastball that goes up to 96. I couldn't find any other data about him. 
At number 14, we got Eric Batonti of the Arizona Complex League. He played 12 games. He batted 180 with a 333 OBP and a 744 OPS with two home runs and nine RBIs. Halfway through this list, at number 15, we got Mike Bovey of High A Wisconsin and Rookie Ball at Wisconsin. He played 19 games with a 250 batting average, 333 OBP, and a 667 OPS. He had one home run with 18 RBIs. In Rookie Ball, he played nine games. He had four home runs, 12 RBIs, batted 500 with a 556 OBP, and a 1556 OPS. Number 16 on the Brewers' top 30 goes to Luke Adams, who batted 233 with low A Carolina with a 400 OBP and an 801 OPS across 99 games with 11 home runs, 54 RBIs, and 30 stolen bases. Number 17 goes to Logan Henderson of Single A Carolina. He went 4 and 3 with a 275 ERA across 18 starts, 78 and two thirds innings with 106 strikeouts. With a less than one whip. Number 18 goes to Bradley Blalick of the Red Sox and the Brewers. With the Salem Red Sox, the Greenfield Drive, and the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. With the Salem Red Sox, who went 1 0 with a 1 5 URA in 18 innings with 22 strikeouts. With the Greenfield Drive, he went 5 1 with a 2 5 5 URA in 35 and a third innings with 36 strikeouts. Then, with the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers, he did not have a win or a loss. Across four games with a 5.27 ERA, 13 and two thirds innings with 17 strikeouts. Number 19 goes to Jorge Quintana, who was one of the top international prospects that the Brewers signed back in January. There are no stats or film that I found about him. Number 20 goes to Daniel Guillarte of Rookie Ball in Low A Carolina. He batted 450 and 269. OBP was 500 and 377. An OPS was 950 and 691. A total of 63 games. He had no home runs, but he did have 33 RBIs with 31 stolen bases. Number 21 goes to Dylan O'Ray, who played in rookie ball and in Carolina. In rookie ball, he batted 362 with a 522 OBP and a 930 OPS across 37 games. He had no home runs with 15 RBIs, but he also had 28 stolen bases. In single A Carolina, he batted 330 with a 439 OBP and an 814 OPS across 23 games. He had no home runs, 8 RBIs, and 16 stolen bases. Number 22 on the list goes to Oliver Dunn, who in A Reading of the Phillies, which he got traded for Robert Moore and Henry Mendes, has a 271 batting average with a 396 OBP with a 902 OPS. He had 21 home runs with 78 RBIs and 16 stolen bases. Number 23 goes to Yadher Arenamo. In single A Carolina, he batted 306 with a 333 OBP and a 740 OPS. Across 103 games, he had four home runs, 52 RBIs, and 16 stolen bases. At number 24, we have Juan Baez, not related to Javier Baez. He had rookie ball in single A Carolina. In rookie ball, he batted 370 with a 395 OBP and a 952 OPS across 48 games. He had four home runs, 42 RBIs, and 17 stolen bases. In single A Carolina, he batted 233 with a 265 OBP and a 598 OPS with no home runs, six RBIs, and two stolen bases. Number 25 belongs to Wes Clark of Double A. He batted 241, 392, and 889. He had 26 home runs, 80 RBIs, and six stolen bases. Number 26 on the Brewers' top 30 belongs to Coleman Crow who was with the Angels of the Rocket City Trash Pandas last year. Oh, yeah. He went 2-0 with a 188 ERA across four games, 24 innings, and 31 strikeouts with a .63 whip. See, what needs to happen is he needs to stop being injury-prone. Like, how can you keep getting injured all the time? Because right now he's on the 60-day injured list. Number 27 is Bishop Bledson. He has not reported to any teams, but he is on the ACL, a.k.a. Arizona Complex League Brewers. And according to Baseball America, he got signed for $482,000 in 2023. Winding down here at number 28, we got Pedro Ibarguen of the Dominican Summer League Brewers. He played 43 games with three home runs, 26 RBIs. He batted 311 with a 437 OBP and an 884 OPS. 
Number 29 goes to Patricio Aquino of Single Lake Carolina. He went 5-3 with a 275 ERA. 21 games, 19 of them started 88 in the third innings with a strikeouts. Wrapping up the Brewers' top 30 prospects list, we have Filippo Dettori of the Dominican Summer League Brewers. He batted 282 with a 414 OBP and a 768 OPS across 52 games. He had no home runs, but he did have 27 RBIs and 12 stolen bases. If you like Weezy, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you on opening day tomorrow.